Hey there, Joe Gaspard here from Joe Gaspard Performance Coaching. Today, let's talk about how your diet is making you sick and tired, okay? So we're not going to talk about anything like uh, aesthetics or how to get a six-pack or drop, you know, 20 pounds from your diet or any of that, all right? This is simply about one thing and one thing only, and that's performance, okay? That's good health. That's uh, having energy, being able to sustain yourself completely throughout the day, all right? So... How is your diet affecting that? Well, look, if you're doing things that make your insulin levels, your blood sugar levels fluctuate wildly, right? We talked about that before, the the roller coaster ride. You go to the vending machine, boom, you suck down a soda, you know, you, uh, you're stopping on the way to work, you're getting a muffin and a, you know, a triple frappuccino something with extra whipped cream and extra caramel sauce, and then for lunch, you're... You know, you, you you think you're eating well. You're eating a, a microwave <laughs> lean cuisine or or whatever healthy and fit and light, whatever the the new thing on the market is, right? It's it's those things. It's those things that in the way that they interact with your body that are not fueling you for a long term result. They're giving you a a little bit of food energy. Some maybe you get some sugar energy from you know the the carbs, or or maybe it's just got sugar in it. So you're getting that little bit of energy, you're getting that little bit of food energy, you're getting that little bit of sugar energy, and boom, you get a hit and you feel pretty good, but then the inevitable crash comes, and then you have to repeat the cycle. You have to go back to the vending machine, you have to go back to the you know, the crappy processed uh, microwave meal to get that same thing again. So you're always in this state of, wow, I feel really good. And then, oh, man, I'm tired. I just want to go home and lay on the couch and, you know, watch TV or whatever. And you're going through this constant cycle and eventually your, your, your body gets worn out. Your, your, lymph, your, your lymphatic system, your endocrine system, all the things that secrete hormones and give you energy and all the things that secrete your neuro and biochemicals and all of those things, they're, they're constantly just like, ex, you know, exploding basically. They're releasing massive amounts of insulin, massive amounts of cortisol, massive amounts of bio and neurochemicals simply because you're, you're eating like this. You're eating these convenience foods. You, you don't want to spend time on cooking. You say you don't have time to make your own food. You don't have time to eat properly, but most of us are spending most of our time in that in that massive ebb and flow on the roller coaster ride and we're constantly oh I don't feel good oh man I'm so tired oh I'm now I'm full of sugar and food energy oh I don't feel good and it's it's a you know it's a leftover from childhood honestly if you grew up in the you know 70s 80s 90s it, it's a leftover it's a leftover pattern of eating of you know Microwave your food, throw it in, you know, a pop tart in the toaster, throw a you know microwave meal in, convenience food, eat fast, keep going, no time to stop and eat. But the most important thing you could probably do is take that time to stop and make your own food so that you have the energy to sustain you throughout the day so you can perform at those incredibly high levels. You know, I mean, you wouldn't expect Kobe or LeBron to be cruising through the McDonald's drive through every day. You know that they're eating well, and it's about more than just the aesthetics. It's about the energy that they need to perform well. And here you are, you want to run a company, you want to be in charge, you want to be out front and be the leader, but you're eating like a 12-year-old kid, and that just don't work. That's not a formula for success, and that's one of the things that's... I guarantee it's keeping you where you are. And and even if it's not, even if you are getting the promotions and the money and stuff, you know, what good is it going to be if you're sick and tired and miserable all the time? So cl- clean it up, you know, clean up your diet, clean up the way you're eating, drink more water, eat nutritious whole foods, and you're going to start to feel a lot better. You're going to have a lot more energy. You're going to get sick a lot less. I guarantee it. So look, that's all the time I have for today. If you have any questions about this, shoot me a message. You know I'll help you in any way that I can. If you like this video, hit the like button. Be sure to share it with anybody who you think needs to hear it. Until next time, I'll talk to you soon.